In this video, we're gonna have a special guest who will give us his best tips and tricks for beginners playing Population 1. So let's jump in! Hey guys, Andy here, wishing you a very warm welcome back to VR Man Cave. Today is a special day because we're gonna have our first ever guest here on the channel who's really good at this game and I've invited him to talk about some less known secrets and gameplay tips to improve your Population 1 game and win more matches. We're gonna start with a video call I had with Tyler where he shares his best tips and then we're gonna play a few matches together to see if I can apply his advice and get better at Pop 1. Besides his savage skills at the game, Tyler is a really nice and cool guy overall, so consider subscribing to his channel because he streams Population 1 here on YouTube every day and truly deserves a bit of support. His channel is linked in the description below this video. Now let's go right into my call with Tyler and see what advice he has for us. So as mentioned in the intro, today we're gonna have Tyler who's a Population 1 savage. Is, is that safe to say, Tyler? Um, yeah, I guess so. <laughs> I mean, I do my best. <laughs> hey man, how's it going? Thanks, thanks for... It's great, uh, man. How's it going for you? It's going really well. Well, thanks for for joining us today. We've been meaning to do this video for probably about a week now or two weeks. Uh, yeah. So I'm I'm happy to finally do it. So um, I'm super excited. I'm I'm happy to hear that, man. So how long have you been been playing the game? Pretty much since it came out, or? Uh, I've been playing since I've got the VR, and that was probably about three four months ago at this point. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. So uh, the the kind of point of this video was to to give the audience a, as much value as we can, uh, especially the ones who want to get better at Population One. So um, I thought instead of me actually just researching it online and trying it, uh, it's it's better to hear from from someone who's actually good at the game. Um, and the first one would be uh, climbing. So what kind of advice would you have to to people wanting to, to be more efficient when climbing? Because I, I kind of climb like this. <laughs> and I know you have a you have a diff different technique. So would you like to, to talk about it a bit? Yeah. So there are two types of climbing. You have your double handed climbing and your one handed climbing. So in events where you really need to climb fast, you're going to want to use your double handed climbing where you use your two hands so you can get the maximum reach and efficiency out of your climb. Now, if you're, say, having enemies come up on you and you need to you know make quick actions with your gun, you can use your one handed climbing. So for both sets of climbing, the best thing you really want to do is to have a nice long sweep. Don't do short grabs and pulls. You want a nice long sweep and you want to click your button at the peak of your uh, reach and then at the very lowest point of your drop. And then when you're at the very lowest point, you let go. And what you can also do to make it even more efficient is have this angle in your wrist at the very peak of your... Uh, throw and then when you hit the as you're going down and hitting the bottom you want to bring that angle of your hand almost like a whip and once you hit the bottom your hand should be at this angle and that's when you let go of your button so in turn it'll be like a, a nice whipping motion and that'll give you your biggest launch and you can use that effectively both with the double-handed and the single-handed pulls that's that's really awesome man and i've been i've been watching a lot of your streams and i, I see you do that one-handed thing a lot uh, and it, in most situations, it, it gives you a huge advantage because people oh, yeah. don't, don't really understand what's going on. Like he's shooting, but he's climbing at the same time. So it's it's kind of hard to... And I'm going fast. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, okay, so the, the next thing would be uh, would be flying. Like any tips regarding flying? It's, it's pretty straightforward in the game, but you've played it a lot. So uh, would you have any advice regarding flying? Um, yeah, I would say uh, a lot of I've seen a lot of people who go into like flying and they really stretch their arms out all the yeah. way out as far as you can. I, I do, you that, really too. Don't do that. <laughs> I you, do that. You too. really can like you can put your arms at this angle and you fly. Okay. So like even at the slightest here, let me stand and I can show you. Even at the slightest angles, this is perfect enough for flight. So you don't really have to go maximum arm stretch where your arms are getting real tired from holding them all up like this for so long and it and you'll get a bit of a better experience out of it as well so it does it doesn't yeah. make absolutely any difference that you're holding your arms like kind of next to your body or like really stretched out yeah no no not at all it's easier if you just kind of like put it at its lowest point and then you're just kind of relaxing as you fly okay legit makes sense um 
I don't think I've seen you do this too much, but um, when it comes to building in the game, I, I myself don't do it almost at all. Like, I'm not even sure what the button for it is in the game. Um, but I know a lot of probably uh, Fortnite players love the fact that you can also build, and I've seen like these crazy tutorials of uh, kind of stair-like structures that you can build super fast in the game. Do you use building at all, and would you have any tips for that? Um, I really rarely use building, um, but when I do use building, the main thing I do like to do is like lock people into places. So like, um, you know, if you down an enemy in a building, block off every exit. They can't get out. Their teammates have to come to them to res them. That's awesome. So you can you can build kind of on top of existing walls already. Yeah. So like if you have, let's say you run through a door and someone comes into that, that house and you kill them inside the house, if you run back to that door and throw a wall up in front of the door, they can't break the wall when you're down, so they can't escape. And so that's their awesome. teammates have to come back to res them. Oh, that's 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 a golden nugget right there. Uh, that's, that's good, because a lot of times, like even if they don't want to go out, um, I feel like their teammates are going to come rushing in. So at least you're right. delaying that moment a bit giving you time to think what, what you need to do. Yeah. Um, okay, so uh, now on to the final part, but arguably uh, the most important, which is uh, shooting and, and weapons. Like any tips for shooting and what would be your, your weapons of choice in the game? Okay, so I'm gonna start out with my weapons of choice. Okay. Um, so the two, or, well, I'm gonna go with the three. The three main weapons that I use in the game are the CX-4, the MK-18 and the Seiko. Three of, they are so overpowered, it's so great. <laughs> I, the CX-4 is really good because it has a slower firing uh, rate and it is easier to get your shots on from like a long distance. Yeah. Um, the Seiko is really good with, you know, anything long distance and even close range, you can just, you know, grab your sniper out and shoot just a few feet. Um, I've noticed if you want to have better accuracy with the Seiko, don't grab it with two hands. Only use one hand and take your other hand and position it under your hand without grabbing. And so you're holding just your, your hand in real life to give you that stability because you actually get a better aim with just holding it with one hand. When you use two hands, it's way more unsteady. Um, and then the MK-18 is also really well because it has the three round burst. And if you're, you know, needing in a, a pinch to just get a couple quick shots into somebody as fast as you can, you can just tap that trigger and you got like 18 shots into somebody real quick. That's that's really awesome, man. Okay, thanks for doing this, man. I, I really appreciate it. Now, what do you say we jump into some, some games and, and show the people how it's done? Sounds awesome, man. I would love that. Let's go uh, win some games. That sounds good, man. Let's go. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Oh, yeah. There's two left in res. Damn. I see him. Got one. Oh, nice. And the other one, I think he's in this small building here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Please, bro. There's one left. Okay, I'll, I'll... He's over here. Let me return the favor. Thanks, buddy. Where's he at? Right here. Oh. Stop playing nice, with me! Yeah! Yo! That was a good game, you guys. <laughs> Whatever compelled you to do such a thing? My 12-year-old uh, cousin actually figured out. Two guys right here. Two guys right here. Yep, yeah, I see him. Let's get There's another one right on to your left, Andy. Got him for eight. Oh, full squad. On my way, on my way, on my way. Oh, come on. Hey guys. I'm coming. Yeah, I'm, I will, yeah, I am. Don't I'm fight them right alone. Or I'm dude. pulling up left side. Up left side. 16. Pulling up left side. One's right here. 
Got a hit for 17 on him. Yeah, I'm moving in. Pushing. Pushing. He's one on top of this hill right here. On top yeah, of this hill. Oh, behind us, behind us. Oh, shoot. Got a hit for 17. Down. Get out of here. Good stuff. I'm right behind you. Both? Wait, how was he? Why was he just standing still? Dude, he's cheating. He's they're cheating. He died and all his stuff fell out, and then he he just magically was back alive. He got a die. That guy's got a die. He's got a die. Oh shoot! There's a whole nother sniper over there. Yeah. Hey, res him, res him, res him. Moving in. Right here. Right here. Sixteen. All right, I'm gonna right now. Sixteen. Sixteen. 17. I'm going to my right side. Hey, this is the type of team that can get to the top. Hey, yes, yeah. sir. Hey, I found him. They're right over here. Okay, coming. I'm right behind you. They're getting pushed by storms, so they're moving in. Oh, I see him. Inside. Shit. Got a bunch of hits on their shield. Awesome. Oh. One's almost dead. Got hit for 17. Down. Got one? Yeah. Oh no, you got him. Nice. Oh, nice. Yes. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Victory. You guys Another are. Another W. In a second. Ooh. Nice. nice. Where are they? Smacking it, smacking them. Up here, I killed them all. <laughs> cool. <laughs> Somebody's over here. I heard him for sure. Yeah, yeah, me too. Amazon is now shrinking. Right here, he's going to the drop, he's going to, it's two, it's two. Teammate. Yeah, one down, nice. Now I'm down. No, Thank you, Wayne. he's right there. Yep. Your good menace has got him distracted. Stop playing with me. Oh, I tried to pull out my pistol! I messed up. Right where I'm standing, right where I'm standing. Right where I'm standing. Yeah. Down. Got him. Nice. Nice. I'm coming, I'm coming, bro, I'm coming. Teammate Damn, he's almost dead. Stop playing, stop nice, playing, stop playing. Yeah. Down. Nice, Andy. Sheesh. There's a guy on top of this tower right here. Look, look, look. Y'all see him? Uh, yeah, like on the other one. It's the one next to it. The one next to it. Oh, where's my hunting rifle? Oh, that just blew me. Oh, yeah. He's flying. Nope. Hear him to my And there's left. another one over here. Yeah, there's one up, up front and... Yo, he's almost dead. The one that you just pinged last, that's over here. There's two of them. Shit. Oh, there's a grenade to our left. Watch it, so there's a guy, I think. He's side, he's side, left side, he's going left side. Got him. Down. Nice. Oh, you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Just call me Walk Down Boy. 
Yeah. Nice. Yes, sir. Oh, Hello? damn. They all see me. I'm coming. Got a hit for 70. Three seconds. Right here, right here. They're all up here. They're all up here. The whole squad. He's almost down. Got one. Yeah, that guy. Still watch that right here. Sixteen. I hit him again. Move in on him. Hey, he's still up here. No! Stupid shotgun, bro. He literally picked it up right as I got over. But there's one left and he's almost dead. He's right here. He's right here. He's right here. Yeah. He's a guy over here to your right. It was the guy that was firing off of with his knife. He's right here. He's more right here. On top or inside? Yeah, on he's top. Right I see him. Right here on I see him right here. He's to the left, actually, a bit from, from that point. He's on, on top of this roof thing. Yeah. That one. And let's go! Yeah! Nice. <laughs> you guys, that's three in a row. Yeah. Or four, is that three or no, this four? Is four? No, this is four. <laughs> this is four. I know, I know, I'm a complete noob compared to Tyler, but I'm learning and his advice really helped me out. Will you be trying out his tips in your next games? Anyway, please don't forget to check out Tyler's channel, it's the first link in the description below. Hope you've enjoyed this new format and if you want to watch some more videos, consider clicking right here or right here if this sounds more interesting. Thank you so so much for watching, I appreciate you spending your time here and wish you a wonderful day, evening or night depending on where you are. I hope to see you soon. Cheers!